On today's Fit to Eat, Chef Rob Stinson shows us how to make the ultimate vegetarian lasagna with fresh marinara. Not only is it meat-free, it's completely gluten-free as well. We're only making a single serving in this video, but this can be doubled or tripled if you have more mouths to feed, or if you only have a regular size casserole dish. First things first, we chop. Heat a teaspoon of oil in a large pan. Drop in the onions and garlic, and then season them with one and a half teaspoons of black pepper, one and a half teaspoons of white pepper, and one tablespoon of fresh oregano. Give everything a nice toss or stir. Then deglaze the pan with a little bit of water or white wine if you're into that sort of thing. This gets some of that extra seasoning off of the pan and into the food. Next, add in six ounces of canned crushed tomatoes and season with one and a half teaspoons of basil, one and a half teaspoons of black pepper, and one and a half teaspoons of white pepper. Give it a hearty stir so all the flavors get to know each other a little better. When everything starts to simmer, add in three tablespoons of vegetable stock. Use the salt-free vegetable stock if you can. Bring the heat down to low. Add in three more tablespoons of vegetable stock and one and a half teaspoons of basil. Let it simmer for 15 minutes while stirring occasionally. Now while the marinara cooks, we can begin. In a new pan, heat a half teaspoon of oil. Then add your carrots, turnips, onion, and garlic. Give it a toss or a stir so everything heats evenly. Season these vegetables with a half teaspoon of black pepper and two tablespoons of fresh oregano. Top these with your tomatoes and two tablespoons of fresh basil. After another quick stir, we have this fantastic lasagna filling. Now typically, lasagna is layered with wide pasta noodles, which you could use if you wanted to. However, for this recipe, we're trying to pack in as many nutritious vegetables as possible. So let's try something different. Heat up a little oil in a new pan. Now you'll want this oil to be extra hot. When it starts shimmering around the pan, add in the yellow squash slices. Sear these until they're tender. We'll want these a little firm, but not too firm. Once the squash slices are ready, remove them from the pan and place them in a spare dish. Place two squash slices in the bottom of a small casserole dish. Take about a third of the filling mixture and place it on top followed by some marinara. Make sure everything is nice and evenly spaced out. Add in another layer of squash, another helping of filling, and some more marinara, followed by yet another layer of squash, the rest of the filling, and even more marinara. We'll have some leftover marinara to serve on the side. Top this colorful dish with two ounces of mozzarella cheese, the fresher and lower fat, the better, and some grated Parmesan. Now this is the only thing keeping this recipe from being vegan friendly, so feel free to substitute or leave out the cheese if you want. Place the dish in an oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Once everything has baked through and the cheese has just started to brown, you'll have the ultimate vegetarian lasagna that's fit to eat. If you would like to see the full episode this recipe came from, visit mpbonline.org slash fit to eat or follow the link in the description below. Chef Rob talks with Sonny Baker, the co-director of the Mississippi Farm to School Network, who talks about what it takes to get healthy local produce into school cafeterias. For more fit to eat recipes and kitchen tips, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting.